finals. So very excited to see what the Wheel of Fate has in store. And Peter is jumping right in and saying 34, 34 from Peter. And uh, uh, Son, Son of Sung, some new people here guessing, is saying 37. Uh, Honor Terser is 38. Sebastian, 37. 3D Hub is going 37 plus or minus 3. Jim Yu, 38. D. Vicky Chong, 33. And Prime, 37 from Matab. Serial South, 39. And Kegel, 33. Guys, let's give this thing a spin. We're going to shuffle it a little bit here. Shuffle, 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 and spin! Shout out to Plasticity for sponsoring the Wheel of Fate. All right, guys. This one is going to be interesting. Here we go. Drawing number 38. We got a good one for these guys. Thank you to the Wheel of Fate. Thank you to Plasticity. And thank you to everybody for predicting what that was going to be. And uh, guys, this is it, man. I cannot believe this match is upon us. I've been waiting all week to see this one. Can't wait to see how these guys do. So here we go. Phil, are you ready? I am. But before we kick this off, I'm going to double down. Okay. I'm saying if Neil takes it, I'm throwing 20 gifted in chat. Wow. Guys, big stakes here. If Neil can win this one, we're going to see 20 new subs going into the pool for all of you to grab. That is so nice. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, here we go, guys. This next CAD versus CAD battle between Neil Z, our number three seed from the United States running Fusion, and Ricardo Jean, our number two seed from Italy, running SolidWorks. This semi-final CAD versus CAD battle begins in three, in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in x.xxx pounds? The tolerance on this one is plus or minus 0.002 pounds. And both of our runners have already grabbed a screen capture and both of our runners are jumping into their CAD systems. We see that we've got Neil Z on the left running Fusion and Ricardo Jean on the right running SolidWorks. And Ricardo Jean draws first blood, gets that first solid feature in place. Wow. This is a part that we've seen in tournaments in the past, but it hasn't been on the circuit for a while. So we'll see who dug deepest, if anybody actually practiced modeling this part or if they're going at it fresh. Cobra mode on, says Matab. Wow. Atze says, why wasn't that model for me? <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, this is possibly the easiest model so far. Yeah, it may look that way, but there's definitely some trickiness to this model. There's definitely a lot of features in this model. And uh, Jim Yu in the chat says, the Boba Fett model. Exactly. That's what I think of when I see this as well. This is the Boba Fett spaceship model. That's it's, good. I like that. Yeah, I there, like that. There's a lot of interesting tangency constraints. It's, bo it's cool. Both of our runners just created the same line at the same time and added in that same tangency at the same time. That was really interesting. And uh, our... Our uh, chat said, what, few, what what tier is this? This is tier five, kind of right on the brink between a tier five and a tier six, but definitely a tier five here for this one. And uh, Neil Z and Ricardo Jean, both, it's so interesting that they both decided to sketch it that way. You know, looking down on it from the top, kind of long ways horizontal, the, ta the same tab sticking up, both of them modeling only part of it to do symmetry and, and choosing to model the same tab. That's like a, that's so fascinating how similar our minds are as engineers, even though we're from different parts of the world, even though we're using different CAD systems, uh, making very similar decisions here on seemingly arbitrary decisions like, do you sketch it on the left or sketch it on the right? It's like they both it makes me almost think to myself, is that something that's taught in school as engineers for these two? Or is that a SolidWorks thing? Because Neil does have some SolidWorks I, kind of background. I cannot answer that. I cannot answer that, but very, very interesting. I think they learned it from watching your channel there, Toby. It's your bad habits coming <laughs> through. It definitely could be, my friend. But wow, they are really both moving through this thing quickly. And Ricardo Jean here taking a look at this model and really uh, moving through it quickly. Choosing, looks like he's choosing a whole wizard size there. It's a little bit of a tricky part because it's in inches. Our runners are mainly used to working in millimeters. And so uh, it's, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit more difficult, a little awkward for them to be working in inches. But it looks like they're both handling it pretty well. It definitely is a good time when you go. 
Go ahead. You still got me there? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> YouTube just decided to go blank on me, but I'm back. Oh, no. All right. Okay. So, I mean, it is definitely interesting when I think about it, being somebody that's used inch my whole career, but you could get out to three or four decimal places, making it a five digit number. And in a speed bottling competition, that could hurt you. Yeah, I mean, so long as the geometry is analytic, most CAD systems are are pretty, pretty dead on. Uh, it does get a little bit dicey as you get out to three, four, five decimal places. So I usually kind of throttle it at three, but um, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm just talking about the idea of like three sixteenths of an inch is still four yeah, after four. the decimal. Exactly. Type, right. Yep. That's point one eight seven five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very it's interesting always interesting here. to see these guys and the way they go about it, for sure, is they're basically doing the exact same thing. It's so interesting. They're in like synchronization here, working on the same feature, although they did make some different features along the way. I think Ricardo may be just slightly ahead right now, uh, but uh, they definitely, you know, have have uh, uh, have come to basically the same point at the same time. And I think it's so fascinating. For sure. I definitely, the only difference between the two is I think Ricardo was in more of that symmetry type of workflow versus what is going to be mirrored along the way. And so we see Ricardo Gene has come in with an answer here, and his answer is 0 0.204 pounds, and that is not correct. That is not correct. And Neil Z coming in with an answer, 1.495 pounds or 1.496 pounds, and that is not correct. So now both of our runners coming in with an answer in under five minutes on this tier five model. Very, very impressive. But both of our runners coming in with the incorrect answer. So now both of our runners are gonna need to go through and look at their models. They're gonna need to look at the print. They're gonna need to figure out what exactly is going on, uh, what, what maybe they could be missing, what dimensions are wrong or what features are missing, and they're gonna need to figure it out. And remember in the chat, we are not gonna tell them. If you happen to notice what it is, we are not gonna tell them. We're gonna let them figure it out. And KRBX is here in the chat, says hi. And Henning offers is very far apart. Yes. Interesting. So I do see somebody, Zio B, I, I'm not even going to pronounce it, asking about machinist in the U.S. working off inches. Yes. Yeah, so and, we'll measure in anything but Neil, the metric unit down here in the U.S. Yeah. And Neil Z. Commonly, I do things in bald eagles, yep. freedoms. And Neil, you Z, know. Neil Z coming in with an answer. And it looks like his answer is 1.535. And I'm sorry, Neil Z, that is not correct within tolerance. That is not correct within tolerance. 1.535, that is not correct within tolerance. And so now what we're gonna see is we're gonna see the, uh, uh, we're gonna see that this is gonna potentially be up to Ricardo Gene to win or lose. Neil Z still looking around in there for it, but I'm, I'm trying to find the clock of doom here, guys. Sorry, there we go. And so now what we see is that Neil Z is no longer going to be able to answer. And then, and so, what we're going to see here is uh, that uh, Ricardo Jean now has the opportunity to answer. And uh, let's see. Ricardo Jean did not come in with an answer, right? Uh, not that I've seen okay. yet. So he did have one answer. He had one answer. Yep. But I have not seen another answer yet. Yep. Okay. Okay, guys. We are watching the chat here for Ricardo Jean to come in with his answer. He's got four minutes and 20 seconds left. And uh, it, this is for the world championship. And so I think that uh, Ricardo Jean may be, uh, maybe just taking a moment here to double check. He does, it, it's almost like some of the pressure has been alleviated, especially considering how fast these guys are. You know, they were able to get the entire model done in under four minutes. So Ricardo Jean is now gonna be, try, he's trying to hunt down that dimension or hunt down whatever, whatever it is that he did wrong. So he's trying to figure it out and um, so you do have somebody, Toby, in the chat wondering if you could throw the drawing back up real quick. Sure. Yeah, we can. We can maybe put the drawing up here uh, for a second. Uh, we're gonna. We want to make sure we keep an eye on the chat as well. Uh, but uh, the drawing was shown at the beginning of the match. So that question from Hydra or Haridja. Uh, that question. The answer to that question is you can always roll back in the live stream and take a look at the the drawing. We did show it full screen at the beginning of the match. Uh, but in the meantime, yep, we can bring this up so that. Maybe the runners can see. 
Hate to cover up poor Neil Z. Saw him zoom in at the end there and maybe maybe see something that he was missing. Yeah, I don't know if this is helping or not. <laughs> There's so many dimensions. It's always interesting because I don't know. Is is it like you get a, a second wind when the clock of doom pops up? And then you turn around and realize that it's counting down and restress yeah. in the situation? Maybe, yeah. But Tav says this part is a shark. Yeah. And uh, Harita, if you're ever interested in more of these challenges, you can always visit us at twotalltoby.com. We've got an entire library of 2D to 3D CAD challenges with a clock to help you feel the same pressure these guys all feel. Okay, let's let's check in on Neil Z and see what he's doing here. He's looking at the part. <laughs> I think he ended up finding out where he was wrong, but for yeah, sure he's got to stay quiet in the meantime. Yeah, he doesn't want to give it away, right? Inch is the most worst think think on earth. Yes. <laughs> Matav says feature by feature. Yeah, one of the, the things... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to wait until the end. I'll mention something at the end here. I'll make a note here. All right, guys. One minute and 30 seconds. Ricardo Jean is going to have to make a decision here. It's do or die, and he's going to decide what he wants to do with this answer. I think he's coming with it. And Ricardo Jean comes in with an answer. 1.555 pounds. And that is correct. <laughs> And that is correct. Congratulations to Ricardo Gene. And I'm just curious, Neil, did you also come up with that 1.555? Were you able to get that correct as well? Let us know if you can see it in the if you can if you can show it in the thing. 1.5. So 1.535. Interesting. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go through and look at that and see if we can't figure out what was missing there on Neil's. Maybe a Rambro's workshop can confirm if we got the 1.555. I always like having those uh, having those fusion guys out there to confirm for me. But congratulations to Ricardo Jean. He really modeled through that thing fast. It didn't look like there was anything wrong except for the material. And it was Ricardo Jean himself who mentioned that in the chat. So it looks like Crycore is calling out that uh, Neil was missing tabs. Missing some tabs. Oh, man. That'll do it. Yeah, it looked like maybe in that area on the left and right, yeah, where the hole, yeah, 3D Hub 1 says the holes are supposed to connect. Yeah, those two holes that are on like the top and the bottom or the.